Hey guys, it's Crystal Briefs. In this video, I want to go over some of the reports I got from the last Dragon Arena match. In this one, we were matched against a lot stronger guild, which had much higher tier 5 count. Since our guild is restricting might, most of us don't have enough T5 to keep replenishing rallies, so we usually struggle against an alliance like this. Plus, they had like 5 full champ players, two of which had 11k heroes with much higher astrolite and artifact, whereas our guild only had me as a full champ player. We've got another full champ player who has higher stats than me, but was absent this time. Although we lost by a lot, it wasn't that terrible and we got quite a lot of educational battle reports, so I'm gonna go over the reports in detail, especially on what caused the result and how it can be improved for the lost. So this was actually the first hit from the opponent and I got burned. Their stats were a lot higher than me, with much more artifacts and astrolites done, so I lost this one even though I chose the correct formation. The enemy was in 947 ranged phalanx and I took that in 857 cav phalanx with the cav shield. Since the opponent was in ranged phalanx I should have won but with much higher tier 5 count and higher stats basically he was too strong of an opponent to be in the first place. But since he's got two inf heroes I could have used ranged phalanx and induced the winning mechanism for the lower stats. That would have been the only way to win against him with this comp or maybe 055. In the next report, our side was a decent half champ player and the enemy was in full champ. So there was quite a lot of stats dif difference and disadvantage on our side. And our side did 857 calf phalanx against a 956-ish ranged phalanx. And again, we should have won this, but with a lot higher stats and tier 5 count that was too much to handle. I think there's no way to, no formation can save this. Maybe ranged phalanx to induce the lower stats winning mechanism but the chance is quite thin because the opponent had 1-2-2 hero comp. Against 1-2-2 hero comp you cannot stably induce the lower stats winning mechanism that I mentioned in previous videos. In the next one, I think our side tried 055 and lost by a lot. The 055 didn't work and there's a reason for that. It's because our inf buffer wasn't enough and failed to induce the 552 winning mechanism. For The number of inf buffer is really, really important and it's really sensitive. I'll do another video on 055, how to correctly use them, so look forward to fu my future video. And since the opponent has 2 to 1 hero comp, and actually 2 to 1 hero comp is the optimal prey for 055. If the opponent has 2 inf heroes, that's a sign of 055 doing a juicy hit. And what happens with two inf heroes is that you'll get more than half the damage in the opponent's cav whereas in here this their cav is pretty much intact so yes this 055 failed to work if our side had enough inf buffer then we could have won or nearly won in the next one i did pretty much 929 cav phalanx which is a really weird comp against 6410 which is really calf heavy and besides at this time i i think i didn't notice i lacked the range so much that i used calf foul on this and actually yes calf wedge do work on calf phalanx but in phalanx is better in most cases than using calf wedge against calf phalanx so yes he's got the edge with the calf wedge against my calf Failing, so I'm supposed to lose in this situation and and the only way for me to win is probably to use ranged phalanx because cav wedge is so damn weak against range phalanx and that's why we don't use cav wedge because there are so many people using ranged phalanx and if we hit that with cav wedge we'll lose terribly 
and yes the, the enemy had 2 to 1 hero comp which is also not good which can also be improved by using 1 to 2 if if the opponent used 1 to 2 the result would have been more terrible on our side my hero and familiars were like this in this one i think our side did 0 5 5 a successful one but there's a caveat here you can see only one over four one fourth of the cav is damaged on the enemy side and the reason for that is that the enemy had one two two hero comp they had only one nth hero the number of nth heroes in the opponent actually determines the outcome of a 0 5 5 hit against a 4 2 4 variant so i think in previous videos i've mentioned that 2 2 1 hero comp is a juicy prey this is partially what i mean 2 2 1 hero comp is a really dangerous hero comp to have against 0 5 5 1 2 2 hero comp is safer to take a 0 5 5 hit in ranged phalanx but if you're in 2 2 1 hero comp there's absolutely no way to take a well-designed 055 hit. And yes, this is one of the well-designed 055 that was supposed to work, but because the opponent had 122 hero comp, it wasn't optimal. And I'll do videos exclusively on 055, so look forward to that. In this one, we lost by a lot. I'm not sure why we lost by this much. In terms of the stats, our side is not bad compared to the opponent but i think at this point there was 200 percent army attack difference we had 200 percent less army attack because we didn't have ancient remains and the detail was like this yes in phalanx is countered by the opponent's ranged phalanx so we did i think 857 in phalanx against a 947 ish ranged phalanx which is a counter against our side and also our side had a 212 hero comp which wasn't supposed to but in this case our side could have done much better with cav phalanx well look at the t5 difference yes t5 is a really pain in the neck so maybe there might be no way to overturn this result, but maybe it might be improved with Cav Phalanx. And the opponent had 2-2-1 hero comp, so yes, it's, it'll be a juicy target for 0 5, 5 and also 2-0-8. And in this one, I won by a margin, and I tried Helldrider in this situation. But turned out Helldrider was a disservice, because actually my troops killed the opponent's ranged first. And if you look at the opponent's side, their cab is receiving most of the damage. It's not damage from Pact 5 Familiar, so my troops mostly targeted the, the opponent's cab. So I was supposed to lose, but thanks to the stats difference, I was the lot stronger one. And also the enemy didn't have full march. I got lucky. In this one, our side lost by a lot, and both sides were in ranged phalanx. And if we look at the battle report, we'll see why. If you look at the opponent's ranged, a little of their ranged survived, which wasn't supposed to happen, but it did because our side had 2-1-2 hero comp. And yes, this is what I'm talking about when you have 2-1-2 hero comp you get significantly disadvantaged in the situation like this. And if you look at the movie, it gets clear. So if you look at the position of the ranged, one of the enemy ranged squad is one step behind, while on our side, one of the ranged is one step forward. And that makes a lot of difference. And as you can see, their ranged squad being left over at the back and our cav is preoccupied that, so that's a double disadvantage. This enemy ranged keeps doing damage on, on the cav and the cav does little damage.
and that's one of the major reasons why we lost it. I think Cav Phalanx would have rescued this better, but not to the point of overturning the result. I think it's nearly impossible to win against this with this comp, and the opponent yes, do have 2-2-1 two, two, hero comp. In this one I lost, I was up against the same person as before, the lower stats, but I lost because yes, I got countered in terms of formation. Although it's not the best counter, I think in Phalanx would have been better, but Infantry Wedge is still a counter against Calf Phalanx in this case. And also I tried putting Helldrider in and the Helldrider was a waste in this case. And I think I didn't look at the comp because I was so busy telling everybody what to do, where, where to go. So I was only able to change to my real gear. So I didn't notice that their calf count was small. Yeah, this is a mistake on my side. Don't worry, I do make mistakes. And in this case, I think doing in phalanx would have overturned the result. Because even if it's a counter, the casualty difference isn't as big as it should be. So yes, in phalanx would have easily overturned this result. And in this one, I was able to counter the opponent. The, the opponent used cav wedge and ranged phalanx is a strong counter against cav wedge. And I did, I believe, 857. The opponent was in like a weird comp, like 343 maybe. And also, I'm not sure why the opponent chose cav wedge. Maybe he thought I'm gonna do Cav Phalanx. But yeah, for this one I saw that there's quite a lot of ranged in there. So I kept sitting in ranged Phalanx. Yes, I think the Helldrider was a waste. In the next one, I think for this our side had significantly higher stats. We won probably because of that. Since the enemy had like huge tons of tier 5 compared to ours. And also, the opponent's range was killed first, but there was the difference in the timings of ranged being killed was too big that the enemy couldn't induce the lower stats winning mechanism. And both sides had 2 to 1 hero comp, which is, I guess, okay in this particular situation. In this one, I think we lost because of stats difference. Both sides did calf phalanx and both sides were, I think, similar in comp. Well, obviously the tier 5 count on the opponent is much higher, so maybe if, if there was same amount of T5, we might have won actually, because we had more range that does damage to the opponent's calf. And I think the... Ah, yes, there is a specific mechanism that I haven't mentioned in previous videos that's doing an advantage to our side. Yes, and it relates to another reason why 2 to 1 hero comp is bad. But even then, the enemy, the stat difference is so big that it's impossible to overturn the result. Yeah, I think doing in phalanx would have overturned the result easily because the enemy, because the opponent had much less cav than inf. Moving on to the next one, I think in this one, uh, our side didn't choose a wrong formation, but due to stats difference, yes, the enemy is in full champ and much more tier 5, the fundamental difference was too big to get formation to counter the opponent. The opponent's range was quite thin, so cap phalanx should have worked, but but because of the stats difference, that was too much to handle. Also, they've got more calf count than M, so that higher calf count probably did quite a lot of damage to our calf. Even if 749 is in ranged phalanx, it's significantly harder to beat that in calf phalanx, but it's still a viable counter, and the opponent was in 122 hero comp also. For this one, our side did calf phalanx on ranged phalanx. Formation wise, it's a counter against the opponent, but let's look at the details. So I think we did 956. Well, it's a bit wobbly, but it was supposed to be 956, and, and the opponent was in like 956 as well. And yeah, again, 
the stat difference was too big in this case. As you can see, most of the inf on our side is gone, which isn't supposed to happen in this case. So this goes to show how superior the opponent was in terms of the stats and tier 5 count. And in this one, I did a successful 055. And look at that. The tier 5 count of the opponent is pretty nasty compared to ours. But even with this, I was able to easily beat that with 055. The opponent was had a lot higher artifacts and astralites. The opponent was a lot stronger lead. But yes, 055 is this powerful. A well-designed 055 is really powerful, especially when the opponents got two inf heroes. As you can see, more than half of the cav in the opponent is gone, and that's a hallmark for a well-designed 055 leading to a 055 win winning mechanism. This is the exemplary report that shows how 055 is powerful. And in this one, our side lost by a lot. I think formation-wise, the enemy had the counter. And let's look at the details. Ah uh, yes, the enemy has good amount of cav, so our side shouldn't have taken that in, in front. Maybe to overturn the result, I think ranged phalanx would have fared better in this case because since the enemy had 2 to 1 hero comp, I guess our side could have induced the lower stats, lower ranged winning mechanism in 4 to 4 for 4 to 4. And in this one, we lost by a margin and the enemy was, I think, stronger. Yeah, a lot stronger lead than our lead. And formation wise, we got the counter, but let's look at the details. The enemy was in 10 4 6 ish comp, and we were, all, we were in 8 5 7, I believe. And yes, look at the tier 5 difference. If it's this much difference, getting the counter on formation will become useless. And the enemy had 2 2 1 hero comp, so that's a juicy target. Our side also had 2 2 1 hero comp. For this to win, I, I'd assume ranged phalanx might have overturned the result because it might be able to induce the weaker stat winning mechanism or lower, stat, lower ranged winning mechanism by having our ranged killed first. The next report is quite interesting because I actually defended a fort with 055. Not well designed because this is after I attacked the same person with 055, but I predicted that the opponent is going to use a 424 variant, so I kept my fort with 055. It was pretty hard to get everyone to send correct 055 comp, but yes, as you can see, 055 does massive damage on a juicy target, and the tier 5 count is a bit higher on the opponent. And yet, I was able to win by a lot against a lot stronger lead. And as you can see, if you look at the cav on the opponent, more than half of the cav is gone. So the 055 winning mechanism is correctly induced. As you can see, the enemy had two 11k heroes, so he's a lot stronger than me because I don't have 11k heroes. In the next one, I embarked on a challenge. He's actually the strongest lead in the opponent's guild and look at that he's got a lot higher artifacts and astralites and bear in mind that at this point we had 200 percent less army attack and i did ranged phalanx on ranged phalanx i was hoping to induce the weaker winning mechanism it looks like the weaker winning mechanism has been induced but when I look at the movie, there's some bizarre things going on, which I think is a different mechanism or a derivative mechanism.
So actually, I killed the opponent's ranged first. So normally I should lose, and yeah, I did lose, but not terribly in this case because there's some bizarre things going on. The retargeting sequence is quite messed up here because of Helldrider. The, the Helldrider actually did a disadvantage in this. And in terms of the comm, I was in 857 and the opponent was in like 947-ish comp. And yeah, the opponent had two inf heroes, so I, I was aiming for the weaker winning mechanism, but, but it didn't as I expected to. And after that, I did a 055 against him and won by a lot. Yeah, the, the strongest lead in the opponent's guild. And actually, he, he took my 055 in ranged wedge, which is a no bueno. Ranged wedge is a, is a most no-no formation to take a 055 with. Don't take 055 in ranged wedge, either take 055 in ranged phalanx or sometimes in phalanx. But, but against a well-designed 055 like this, it's impossible to defend a 055 with 424 in this case and the opponent had two inth heroes. That's a juicy target. And remember, we had 200% army attack less all the way from the beginning till the end. So considering that, the powerfulness of 055 is breathtaking. 208 is like a baby compared to 055. 055 is so powerful if you can use it correctly. And in this one, I also tried to take the opponent's hit in 055 but everyone was exhausted and I couldn't get enough troops for this and I lost by a lot. And when I looked at the movie actually the 552 winning mechanism was induced but because I couldn't penetrate the enemy ranged in time that resulted in a huge loss. And I think that's it for the reports. I hope you've learned something, well, especially on 055 and hero comps. And if you want to see more of this, I really appreciate you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you later.